Greetings, and welcome to this week's episode of The Galaxy Report. The Galaxy Report is an intergalactic news show, bringing you an array of news stories featured on thedailygalaxy.com. I'm Nicole Butcher, and in this week's episode, we're going to be covering breaking stories featuring the origin of information on Earth, the potential of water worlds in the Milky Way, and much more. Let's get into it. We're living in an age of seemingly endless information. Astrophysicist Caleb Sharif of Columbia University names this new addition to the biome the data ohm. He notes, on a geological time scale, the emergence of the human world of bits built of and for information is like a sudden invasion by extraterrestrials. In the beginning was complex chemistry. Paul Davies, professor of physics at the Arizona State University and author of The Demon and the Machine, wrote in an email to the Daily Galaxy. Then, somehow, molecular activity became organized, cooperative, managed by encrypted information. The exquisite dance of hardware and software that resulted, he replied, lies at the core of what we call life. Indeed, life is chemistry plus information, all the way from the DNA to brains to ecosystems. The biosphere is the original World Wide Web of information. Information, argues Davies, foreshadowing Sharif, is a concept that is both abstract and mathematical. It lies at the foundation of both biology and physics. Information the universal genetic code is the software of life. Scientists are merging the hardware and software narratives into a new theory of life that has sweeping ramifications from astrology to medicine. Before life appeared on land, some 400 million years ago, all life on Earth, including the mind, evolved in the sea. Astronomers have recently conjectured that blue exoplanets with endless oceans may be ex orbiting many of the Milky Way's one trillion stars. In 2016, for example, Kepler's astronomers discovered planets that are unlike any in our solar system, a water world planetary system orbiting the star Kepler-62. This five-planet system has two worlds in the habitable zone, their surfaces completely covered by an endless global ocean with no land or mountains in sight. Geochemist Chris German says that the biggest issue for whether an ocean world is habitable is whether there's any energy. A ball of pure water wouldn't have what you need, but an ocean with a rocky interior has the potential to host water-rock interactions. Interestingly enough, within our own solar system, Jupiter's moon Europa has a rocky bottom to its vast ocean. Caltech's Mike Brown suggests that it may be almost like a miniature Earth, with plate tectonics, continents, deep trenches, and active spreading centers. Think about mid-ocean ridges on Earth. We still have a lot to figure out in terms of technology on water planets, as it would be hard to access metals or fire. However, Ramses Ramirez at the Tokyo Institute of Technology says it could be dangerous just thinking about everything on an in-Earth mindset. You could be missing out on the possibilities. And now, for another breaking story of planetary discoveries. Astronomers using the NASA Chandra X-ray Observatory believe they may have found the first known planet in another galaxy, where an exoplanet appears to orbit a massive star and a dead star in the Whirlpool Galaxy. Scientists spotted it by just studying the behavior of X-rays emitted by bright extragalactic X-ray sources in the Whirlpool where an orbiting planet would temporarily block the X-rays, 
and cause a brief detectable eclipse. Until now, astronomers have found all the other exoplanets and exoplanet candidates in the Milky Way galaxy, almost all of them less than about 3,000 light years away from Earth. An exoplanet in the Whirlpool galaxy, otherwise known as M51, would be about 28 million light years away, meaning it would be thousands of times farther away than those in the Milky Way. We are trying to open up a whole new arena for finding other worlds by searching for planetary candidates at X-ray wavelengths, a strategy that makes it possible to discover them in other galaxies, says Harvard CFA astronomer Roseanne DiStefano. The Whirlpool Galaxy Binary System contains a black hole, or a neutron star orbiting a companion star, with a mass about 20 times that of the Sun. The X-ray transit they found using the Chandra data lasted about three hours, during which the X-ray transmission decreased to zero. Based on this and other information, researchers estimate the exoplanet candidate in M51 ULS1 would be roughly the size of Saturn and orbit the neutron star or black hole at about twice the distance of Saturn from the Sun. Unfortunately, to confirm that, we're seeing a planet we would likely have to wait decades to see another transit, said co-author Nina Amara of the University of California at Santa Cruz. Even if a planet does exist in this system, it's likely had a rough history and a violent past. An exoplanet in this system would have had to survive a supernova explosion that created a neutron star or black hole. The future may also be just as dangerous. At some point, the companion star could also explode as a supernova and blast the planet once again with extremely high levels of radiation. Thanks for tuning in to the Galaxy Report. It's been a pleasure to be on the journey with you. I'm your host, Nicole Butcher, and check back in. We'll have new stories every week, and make sure to follow us on thedailygalaxy.com.